Hello, I'll give you one more example for the construction of NFA and DFA. And here I have considered the language over the alphabet A B A I. And here it contains all the string that has A B B as a substring. So substring is a place where uh, we should have A B B. And in prefix of it we can have anything. And in the suffix of it again we can have anything. Now <coughs> here I have listed out some set of strings that contains A B B over uh, A B B over over A. Any places if you have A B B. then the string should be accepted either friend or back or any way if you have a abb then the input has to be accepted now again construction of nfa it is very simple uh, we take the minimal input the minimal input is abb for processing this abb we need four states three four four states over as a whole okay for the processing of a b and b Now this will be the starting state, and the input is zero, one, two, three. You can consider the inputs as zero, one, two, three. Sorry, uh, yeah, states as zero, one, two, three, and the input is just A, B, B. We reach final state. And as in case of uh, NFA, I told you NFA uh, from some state on some input, we may have a transition, or we can have some n number of transitions too. So here our condition is the strings should contain A, B, B. Whenever it is A B B, we reach final state. In the prefix of it, we can have either A or B. It doesn't matter. And again, in the suffix of it, after crossing A B B, we can have either A or B. It doesn't matter. So the NFA construction is very simple. Here, uh, in the state zero on A, we have two possible transition. In the state one on A, we don't have any transition at all. But still, this accepts the inputs. Now the construction of DFA is quite complicated. Now, uh, in case of a DFA, again we are going to process with the minimal input. The minimal input is A B B. In order to process A B B, we need four states. So this is again same as in case of NFA. When the input is just A, B, and B, we reach this final state, and this will be the starting state. I give the state name as zero, one, two, three. Now the problem comes when the input is just a b b we reach final state now we have to check for the remaining possibility in state 0 when the input is a we have a transition what happen if a b occurs over here and in state 1 if the input is b we have a transition but what happen if the input is a over here and here in state 2 when the input is b we have a transition and we have to check for the transition what if what happen if a occurs over here and similarly in state 3 we don't have any transition at all so we have to check for the transition of a and b in state 3 now let's start one by one now zero is a place state zero is a place that we have in processed a b b we are waiting for this input a b b to occur in a sequence and here or if a b comes it doesn't going to affect like we are waiting for a b b if some b occur in front of it again no problem right we can accept the input if it has a b b somewhere so we can remain in the state itself for all b's and when you have a b b we can reach to the state 3 okay now in state 1 when the input is b we have a transition when the input is a we have to check for the transition now this is a place where we have processed one a and we are waiting for b's now if some a occur in this place again it is a matter right we can take this a and if it is combined with b b then we can accept it so we can stay in the state itself for all n number of a's and if the next two element or b b we can reach a final state so i can have a looping condition over here when the input is a in the input is a i stay in the state 1 itself when the next two elements are b i can reach to the state 3 a final state and again here this is a place where we have processed a b and we are waiting for a b now what happen if a a occurs if a a occurs over here and if the next two element are b b we can accept it okay if a a occurs and next two element should be b b checking for this b b is done in the state 1 so if a comes over here i can raise this to the state 
and if the next two element are bb we can reach final state okay so now in state 0 we have checked for ab possibility state 1 ab possibility and state 2 we have checked for ab possibility now in the last final places in state 3 state 3 is a place where we have already checked a abb somewhere in the string we have found this abb occur in a sequence and we have reached this state 3 so after reaching this you can have either a or b or any combination of ab since our condition is we have to check accept all the input string that contains abb as a substring so whenever it is in substring case after that processing of ABB, we can have anything. In the prefix and suffix of that, that ABB, we can have any element over there. So, I can make a self-loop condition over there. For all the remaining elements, I can stay in the final state. Since this is a place where I already found ABB, somewhere in the string, the substring ABB is found. And now, we have to complete the transition. So, we have to process all the remaining element and stay in the final state itself. So at the end of input, if I if the transition remains in this final state, then the input will be accepted. Thank you.